So hey, we're back. Um, yeah, like I said, Slayer challenges. I'm gonna put them up as separate. Maybe I might even wait until I do it successfully, so you know you can see what that looks like. Cause I'm quite interested what you get from them, cause they look pretty fucking cool. I forget what it said that you get rewards from, but. Like I said, there better be a mission select, because there's a lot of off-screen shit I want to do, and some stuff that's not necessarily going to be off-screen, but like, for this playthrough may remain off-screen. Vega tells you the betrayer's life signal is nearby. Okay, see, I fucked this up, and then it's like, this is what I mean. I'm like facing the wall, and it's like... Sorry, what? I am facing it. I know I fucked it up and you didn't want me to succeed, but like... Okay, so the Betrayer. Um, he's mentioned actually in Doom 2016. He is the guy, I think I read somewhere, the Betrayer, like I think it was on a Yahoo Answers or something, or Quora or something. Um, he is the guy who gives the Doom guy his armor He's not another Doom guy. That's like an older Doom guy. He's a guy who helped betray the um, demons who seem to have taken over Exaltia to some degree and they're just like, oh, well, I'll just fucking deal. Um, he's a guy who is like. fought them as well, but isn't the Doom guy. That's why their armor looks similar. So you notice every character he meets is essentially saying, um, don't, don't do your job. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's King Novik, him, obviously the evil villain. He gives you something here. And I'm like, ooh, a thing. Looks like a really fancy switch and blade. <laughs> but like, I was like, oh, I thought this was going to be an item I can use somehow on my suit to make me kill things more efficiently. And it's not. And then I'm like, her da dur, which way's the way out? And you see he's got a big fucking cool mech and he's got guns everywhere and motion sensors and shit. And it's like, oh, okay, so a lot of people want to kill this guy because, I don't know, demons and him not helping the demons or something. Feels like they're trying to build a bigger lore than the original Doom series had. And it's adding some really cool metal kind of shit on top of it. That you're like, oh, that's pretty neat. I'm glad that they've added shit here because having guys like called the Betrayer and all of this shit is pretty cool. But it's like, I think a lot of it's confined to the law logs that I'm picking up here, which I have not yet read. I'll probably read them off screen and then just talk about them in my commentary as we proceed through the game to try and help people understand who these people are because you tend to have a few. These guys are crack shots with those fireballs. Um, you see there's a she, uh, helmet there, you just have to make that thing go down, but I was just focusing on trying to get to the end of the level now. Uh, I fuck this up and then I die. Then I come back. And then I die. Uh, yeah, it takes me a while to work out. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Where am I going? Because I like keep landing in a weird place and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm in the lava again. I don't really understand this platforming segment because of the way I came at it. And I'm like, um, this one? And I managed to miss the whole fucking thing there. It's just like that. I felt frustrated at this point. It was very hot because my piece, PS4 was overheating. The laptop recording it was overheating. And my house is poorly ventilated right now. Um, yeah. Then I kind of get it after a while. I'm like, oh yeah, I see now. 
and like I kind of knew this, but like it felt like, well, where does this go? Because I couldn't see the next platform, and maybe felt like I was just going the wrong way. And I was like, okay, that's that was where the like extra life thing was. I could have bothered to get that, but I was just like so focused on not jumping in the lava again that I was just like, fuck it. And people are still pot shotting me as I come down, which is. This area is one of the areas I would bitch about the most because it feels like there's certain parts of it where I'm just like getting knocked into the lava a lot or just jumping assuming there would be more space there. It's just like it's not a lot of space to work with and there's a lot of enemies. And I'm like, well, why am I dying so quickly? Because I was just doing the Slayer challenge and I was surviving much longer than this. What the hell? See the quad damage behind me, but I think first attempt I completely blanked that. Feels like I'm doing pretty good, and then this guy shows up and I'm like, oh fuck. The dash is good for auto-correcting back onto things when you get knocked off, but it normally means that you just bring yourself back into punching range with the Hell Knight, so yeah, use that as you think is sensible. Use the moderation. At this point, I think I'm just getting tired, and it means that I'm like really struggling to like actually be good at the game still. And I keep just taking stupid hits, and I'm not dealing with this guy properly. And like, I'm like, why is he not dead yet? He exploded in gore there. We all saw that on the playback. So I'm like, yeah, he's got to be dead now, at least in the stun state. And he's still swinging at me, still swanging. Look at this. Look at this. Finally, and then he blows up, and it's just like I don't even get the satisfaction of the glory kill. I don't know what my plan was there. I just ran up to a guy and punched him. Like, yeah, fucking angry, I'll punch you. And I walked backwards into the lava here, and I'm like, fuck, fuck. And I can't find it. And then it extra lifes me in the lava again. And I'm like, fuck. How do I. Oh, great. Thanks. Thanks for wasting my extra life. Don't put me back on the. Fuck, you know? That's why I don't like this one. I liked it more in 2016, where it was a lot more like, you can fall in the lava, but you really have to be fucking up to fall in the lava. There's just a lot of platforms, and a lot of guardrails, and a lot of, like, stuff. Big open areas to fight things. It feels like there's too much platforming. You can see there's a lot of floating platforms in a big area, where everything's f filling up those areas, Nice effect there, you can see his eyes turn purple. Kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's, actually. Um, yeah, like, uh, feels just feels like, even in Hell, in the later part of Doom 2016, you it was very hard to fall into an obvious, like, Robot War-style trap that would immediately just mean, oh, well, you're fucked now, <laughs> you know? And it's just like where you'd fall into the lava and it'd be like several miles of lava. So even if you got back, you'd just get one shot again. Kind of messed up the timing there. I'm running into punches that weren't going to hit me. A lot of things where I'm just like trying to just, you see I'm going so fast because of all the glory kills and it's just like, <laughs> I'm just going, I uh, uh, have to punch something like I'm in berserk mode, and I'm not in berserk mode, I'm just in a, I want to punch everything mode. See, I'm just punching for the sake of punching, because I haven't worked out when um, my blood punch is uh, active yet, because I haven't worked out that it's the little, the little hexagon in the corner there. And then I did. It's Arachnotron. Fucking Arachnotron. This is level two, <laughs> and I'm managing to fuck up at this level, so. Yeah. <laughs> I know this is quite painful for people watching. I'm just gonna try and get better and be less, like, butterfingery as time goes by. Um, yeah, see, that effect's pretty cool. I like that reflection in the helmet. Um, yeah, uh, 
punching, even at quad damage, doesn't really do that much. Just FYI. I need to remember to flame belch more often because it just gives you free armor, which probably not a good idea for this guy. You notice I haven't, like, close up being killed like this is not brought about a special death animation yet, which does make me sad. Maybe they don't work in this. Maybe they do, and I just haven't been killed in the right way yet. Uh, he falls straight into the lava there, and I'm like, oh, that's what where that is. Alright, I'm just trying to work out where everything is, and I'm just like, oh, fucking arachno brain. Spider brain. Spider psycho. Spider psycho. And then I get killed really quickly here, and I'm like, oh. Can't trade with this guy. And they're like, did you know? It's like, yeah, I do know. Shut up. <laughs> no, just bad. <laughs> I do know where the weak point is. I'm just fucking bad. I'm just kind of looking everywhere, but now I'm like, where are the enemies? Oh, there he is. Stabbed. I did this habit as well in Doom 2016 of really going in way too much, not really paying attention to what I'm shooting and going, yeah, I'm a big man, I'm shooting the gun properly, I just run in and go, you don't want to fucking glory kill everything, and everything's like, we're nowhere near at the state where you can glory kill us, and I'm like, oh. And like, I'm always trying to execute everything rather than just like, kill something with standard gunfire, for fuck's sake, there. One arachno brain dies and another one spawns immediately, I think. Oh no, that's a revenant. A lot of people freaked out in Doom 2016 that Revenants are like humans that were experimented on by the UAC and exposed to Hellwave energy, and I'm pretty sure that that was a thing in Doom 3, actually, and that was what Doom 3 brought to the table. I was like, oh yeah, the Revenants are like human experimentation. I don't know if that was a thing and it was always supposed to be canon, but the first time I remember reading about it, I'm pretty sure it was in Doom 3. But everyone was like in... 2016 was, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I was like, yep, and then I fuck up my landing, and I'm on fire again, so, oh, well, I live, I live, give me sweet health, I curb stomped you for health, nothing but birds, <laughs> it just reminds me of what we used to be like in Gears of War, me and my friends in college, <laughs> they just fucking kill everything, <laughs> Stupid bullshit that he used to do. This is such, like, Doom is such the video game ass video game that you your parents see you playing and go, Nope. <laughs> like, this is why the PMRC are here. <laughs> this is why Mothers for Jesus started to go, Nope. <laughs> Big nope. Video games cause violence. No, they don't, mum. Then why did you just pull the eyeball out or something while screaming, fuck yes, fuck you. <laughs> You're like 12. How did you get this game? You bought it for me, mum, because you just didn't read. Or look at the ESRB rating. They put them on the box for a reason. My parents, man, they were real strict. They were like, hey, you can have 15s when you go 15. You know, and they were like, no, you can't watch an 18. Fuck you. You can't have an 18 video game. So I didn't play GTA, except around my friend's house. And everyone's like, oh, I play GTA, I'm hardcore. And then you look at GTA when you're like San Andreas at this point, and you're just like, mm. <laughs> what was the hype for? And like, I was really scared of horror and shit back then, because I was not allowed to look at it until I was an adult. And then I now drowned myself in extremely violent shit all of my life and death metal and I'm just like oh. anyway end of Exaltia next is the cultist temple uh, I'm gonna actually record that session soon I was just making sure it's still recording there because I was like ah oh, fuck I like the floppy disks, it's a good touch. Pretty sure you couldn't actually cheat Doom by putting in another floppy disk back then, but I wasn't around doing that shit. I think Doom came out in, what, 92, 94? I would have been 0 to 2. I sure as hell didn't wake up <laughs> from birth going, 
fucking doom, <laughs> you know, it would have been cool, but like, I wasn't a metal baby. It's actually really weird considering who I was raised by, how I was raised in a very like sheltered way, and I was even raised Methodist, considering my parents didn't believe in God, and considering that my parents were also extremely like, one of them was into metal and had motorcycles, the other one was a goth, and you're thinking like, and you guys decided it would be a great idea to for some reason put me down this weird bullshit path and like all it did was encourage me to become more metal than they are <laughs> like you know I, I, I'm not religious at all um, and like I'm nearly hitting 30 and I'm still listening to death metal and talking about tattoos and playing fucking doom so guess you know I'm also they made me a loser or maybe that's just my fault <laughs> ice bomb yeah this is where I start to think, okay, they're giving me shit. They give me shit that's not in the first game, but some of it feels super gimmicky. And I'm like, mm, am I going to use it? And I try it out, like, cool, a new thing, I'll try it out. But, like, it doesn't work the way I want it to work. Or how they really show it in the tooltip, where you're like, oh, they freeze and they die in one hit then. No. They freeze and they still take a sustained amount of damage before they explode. And I hate that type of ice power. I like the one where it freezes them solid and you just punch them and they fall apart. Look, it's 3D printing shit for me. Pretty sure this is like that version, this game's version of the Gorse Cannon. I think it's called like Railgun something or other. This is a BF fucking G, I think. Why can't I have it now? When do I get the freaking guns? For some reason, Doom guys just. Got really enamored with the hell decor after a while. Oh, I can't reach these yet. They're teasing me. He also has some ale downstairs in those barrels, by the look of it. Big ale barrels. This looks like Ale Storm's hideout, if you ask me. It's very, like, neo gothic. Is that the right thing I want to say? Looks very much like you see the painted glass windows and the cathedral style and the kind of gothic architecture mixed with the cyberpunk. Look, there's a classic armor. It's pretty, pretty cool. I don't know if you get it at some point, but it's there. Um, it makes you think of Exaltia, right? It looks like Exaltia. You're looking at this thing and it's like, why is there like brick walls with moss up the fucking place? You know, like that doesn't seem very like flight worthy. What is the tapestries? Seems very much like he's from Exaltia. And this fucking awesome door. This is his secret, like, this is where he goes to hang out when no one's looking, and he's just got his guns here, like, Hey guys, do you want to see my guns? Hey girl, come back to my house and we'll check out my chainsaw. <sighs> it's just like, that's nice. All of your collectibles go on a little shelf here. Come check out my pop vinyl collection. <laughs> And my comic book collection that's all about just me. It's all like the Doom graphic novels, the Living End is down there, you see. A bunch of magazines that aren't real. The Collector. That might be real. Some sick axes. Pretty cool. Classic PC where you can plug in. I assume there's going to be a retro game on it. There's a skateboard in the corner there. Imagine Doom guy skateboarding. It says you've got to have so many discs and you can unlock something or something, I don't know. A uh, load of mags, vinyl player, Kadingia cooking, Kadingia. Just a few. Just doesn't feel like this is what Doom Guy would be doing. <laughs> is Doom Guy a streamer? <laughs> Demonology today. A grind like he's got sick ass nunchucks and a big like grinder wheel here. Load of shit here and he's like building a new set of armor or something. So something there. Guns and bullets, science monthly. Load of stuff, helmet. 
some sort of blue and red orbs there. I don't really know what they are. And this sick ass chair. I'm gonna go read my magazines in my fucking metal ass throne. And the door closes on my face like, no. That's what I mean about the triggers being a little weird sometimes. Maybe it's just because I keep moving around like a, like I've had too much coffee or something. I'm like, <laughs> gotta get on the next thing. Demons. No, it's pretty cool. I like a hub world and Doom game. There's a big fucking thing here, and I'm like, what is that? When is that a Doom mech? Can I pilot the Doom mech? When when is Doom mech? I want to have like this big kaiju fight because <laughs> you saw the big demons wandering around you're like oh do mech we have the Ripatorium here which is sick some just placed chandeliers here for some reason okay, I don't know who these are for and it's like no and I was like what So this is the same place as where the Slayer Challenge, the first one was anyway, was placed. Uh, same kind of battle area, demon prison. So you just, he collects some demons. It's like, you know when that, that copy of the Punisher Max or Punisher 2000 where he creates a secret hidden underground prison for all of the guys he doesn't kill and then torments them for all eternity and then just turns them like atomizes them or something after a while when he gets bored of them so you're better off just getting murdered by the Punisher in that canon rather than getting tortured for life for him because it went way past the Mafia after a while um, so Doom Guy has that. He doesn't kill every demon, apparently. After a while, he's just like, nah, you can come back to my house. And they're like, really? And he's like, yeah, sure. Just go into this, like, terrarium I've made. So this is the ice bomb. And I'll just murder you later. And they're like, what? And he's like, what? Don't worry, there's free pizza. And they're like, oh, okay. I'll just go hang out. Doom Guy seems pretty cool, actually. We've been fighting him all this time. And he just invited me back to his home. And then they get blown up like that guy, and he's like, oh, fuck. No, those guys are right. This is a fucking asshole. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's going through these demons' brains, obviously. Like, seriously, have you ever seen him leave any prisoners? You literally can't progress unless he's murder it, murdered everyone in a room. So you're sat there like, at what point has he... BFG, I want a BFG. Um, these dudes are back. There's just a lot of shit. You're like, he's back, and he's back, and there's like a ghost dog, and there's ice bombs, and you're like, it's level two. <laughs> like, there's another upgrade screen. This is another upgrade screen. And it's like different from your Praetor suit, because it's Praetor points or something. Oh, it's not runes something else. There's like four or five upgrade screens. Oh my god. <laughs> and the sentinel points, yeah, you, just, you get the picture. I don't even know what the Slayer challenge is unlocked. Do they give you more of these points or more of other points? Like, oh lordy. So yeah, environment protection and like, there's like equipment but each each piece of equipment the frag grenade and the uh, ice bomb and shit they're all separate uh there's movement and discovery it just means if you're looking for secrets you know and you can see that each one has like a number i only have one point at the moment so i'm like oh, i don't know look at all the cool shit the ice bomb has that would make it actually really viable later on oh it's a shame that costs like a lot of points. If you want to upgrade the equipment, you really have to like grind. That's why I'm like, I'm gonna do some off-screen shit so that I can get some really cool stuff. So yeah, now he grabs stuff at a wider range and faster or something. I kept going for the boring utility shit because I'm just like, yeah, well, you know, here's all the codex, here's all the challenges. I just skipped by that and looked like I unlocked a bunch of shit from doing that, so after a lot, a load of shit. <laughs> eh. <laughs> and he's like, yo, 
I'm gonna just clip out of existence. It feels like you weren't supposed to look at him for that length of time. Again, just makes you feel a bit like, um, what? So you see each thing has a little slot with red bits around the side and I'm supposed to be plugging everything into it. It feels like, um, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of those, which is fine. It means there's a lot of game, right? Right? Please have a lot of game. That's, yeah. Now I'm just kind of run around. Look, it's like really pretty. It's just like, who is doing the decor? <laughs> Oh yeah, like I forgot about editing this out shit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is why I cut short the play session because it kind of fucked this up a bit. <sighs> yeah, it does that here. I'm gonna be glad when I move to a country with a, like less firewalled internet so I can like record a little easier just for my own kind of like, I need a better setup, but I can't afford a mixing desk. And as I move around a lot, I can't be doing all of like the elaborate shit that I would like to be doing to make a really professional thingy. Uh, yeah, like we're back in the main hub room and I just go and click on the next thing and oh, I think I do this, yeah. You can read it down there. Uh, this is another saying that hellified zones, this is what also confused me is exalt here on the same planet as Earth, or is it like, because they're saying the same thing, do not recommend any attempts to communicate with the Slayer directly, please avoid contact with Doom Guy at this time. Basically they're unsure if he's just going down to wreck shit, and he doesn't care who gets in his crosshairs, or if he's just like after demons, because to be fair, he's just running around gunning down everything in his sight, so you can kind of be like, eh, yeah. And like the UAC is pretending he doesn't exist. So there's no information that's legit out there telling them what's the real deal. Anyway, next time is level three. Cool.